And also new here at 6, we're learning more about a police chase where a man led officers on a pursuit through four deep East Texas counties over the weekend. Authorities say it started around 3 o'clock in the morning Saturday in Angelina County, just outside of Lufkin, then through Trinity, Polk, and Tyler County, where it ended after nearly two hours. KTRE's Jeremy Thomas spoke with officials on how it started, the damage left behind, and the charges the driver faces. Captain Alton Linderman says Angelina County deputies pulled over 43-year-old Ronnie Davidson from DeSoto, Texas, right outside of Lufkin on State Highway 94 for defective equipment on the U-Haul he was driving. Inquired with the driver for his driver's license. He had a problem producing them. They asked him to step from the vehicle and he wouldn't step from the vehicle. He put the vehicle in gear and left and the pursuit ensued. The pursuit headed toward Trinity County. Sheriff Woody Wallace says speeds reached around 75 miles per hour. There are a lot of vehicles that uh, that, that he did try to play chicken with. I do know a couple times, uh, I know there are 18 wheelers on the road that he was trying to force off the road. Authorities say Davidson also rammed into this Trinity County patrol unit. He hit our vehicle and then sideswiped us whenever they were kind of gaining speed. So did, deliberately he, he run over our patrol car. From Trinity County, the pursuit went through Polk and Tyler counties. Tyler County units uh, deployed the spikes, which flattened the tires, and it, uh, a short time after that, he stopped the vehicle. They did have to use a chemical agent to detain him. Well, he was in possession of a small amount of marijuana, and he also uh, was possession, in which he had uh, in his hand when he was stopped, a, a stolen 9 millimeter pistol. Authorities say no injuries were reported. I would like to see the vehicle stopped a lot sooner. Uh, un unfortunately, uh, we were not able to get an, a, a unit out that had spikes uh, that was uh, ahead of him. Wallace says, especially among rural departments, not every patrol unit has spike strips and they can be deadly. You're not going to be able to start, you know, 40, 50 miles behind him and catch up to him and get ahead of him. Uh, he wouldn't let vehicles beside him either. Anybody that tried to pass him, uh, he would swerve his vehicle and try to run one off the road. So and it could have been a lot worse. Jeremy Thomas, KTRE East Texas News 9. And authorities say as of now, nothing in the U-Haul appears to be stolen or criminal in nature. Davidson remains in the Angelina County Jail tonight, facing numerous charges in multiple counties. His bond has not been set.